y'all. So I've been thinking about doing this cut for quite a while. Um, I found this image on Pinterest. Um, I've had it saved for a long time. So that's kind of our inspiration today. And I've already cut out my leopard spots. I got this file from Bear Trends on Etsy. It's like a double layer leopard print. And then I have this 20 ounce regular cut from Maker Flow Crafts. There's a link down below if you want to go check them out. I've already prepped my cup and I spray painted it flat white. I did two coats of white, I believe, and we're going to go ahead and add our spots on here. So I cut the bottom piece of the leopard spots out on this gold vinyl that I got from Starcraft. Uh, I'm not quite sure the name of it, but any kind of gold, um, you know, vinyl that you want to use would definitely work. Um, so I'm just going to pick some of these spots up with my transfer tape. And I'm just going to go back and look at my inspiration piece here. So you see how they're kind of like going in like a diagonal wavy pattern. So that's what I'm kind of go for. Like a leopard print river. Like, you know, I don't know. So we're just going to um, put some of these spots on here. See how it looks. Okay, so now that those bottom spots are on, I'm going to take some painter's tape and kind of like tape off my river section. So I'm not going to put the top part of the leopard spots on yet because you will see like the double layer of vinyl. So I'm going to do a coat of epoxy before I do my top layer. But back to the painter's tape. So I'm going to mask off my leopard print section because I do want that to remain completely white. And then now I'm going to tape off some more of the cup just to get some more like river type stuff going on. I don't know guys, this is like a total like trust the process, just going with the flow, figuring it out as I go along. I had no plan on how I was going to do this, but um, here we are. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a craft knife or razor blade or whatever and draw a little like... Um, wavy marks throughout the tape and just so I won't have a straight line when I go to spray paint over this. I wanted it to be like a natural flowing river so um, a good shaky hand would be good. You don't want this to look totally perfect. So I just went around that tape, made some cut lines and then peeled up that excess off. Okay, so once I had my tape lines the way I wanted it and it was nice and wavy, I gave it two coats of a matte black spray paint, immediately took it inside, and I peeled up my tape lines before I let my spray paint dry. Once that spray paint was completely dry to the touch, I did one coat of epoxy over it and let that cure. And then the next day we are back, my cup is completely cured, and we're ready to apply our top layer of leopard spots. So I placed all these leopard spots by hand. Um, wasn't as bad as it sounded, um, but you kind of had to match up like where the spots went to like the bottom of the spot. So I just played around with it and got all of those lined up and looking good. Okay, so now that we got all of our spots on there, it looks pretty good. And I got this gold metallic pen from Hobby Lobby. And I had never used it before, like it was brand new. So I did push it down on a piece of paper just to get that ink flowing. And I'm just going to naturally go along um, this between the black and the white. And just put in some gold line. This is like the gold river type look that I wanted. So just super steady or super unsteady hand here and we're just gonna draw on our line you definitely don't want it to be perfect it's like a geo templar when you do your lines you know you don't want it to be perfect you want it to have some character to it
And then once I got the main gold line portions of there, I kind of just went off track and added some other little marks just on the black just to give it a little something extra. I don't know, guys. I was just playing around crafting. This is what I do. This is what I love to do is just take an idea and run with it and see what happens. So after I finished up my gold um, lining, I did not seal it. I just let it dry completely for a few hours. And then I went in with um, another coat of epoxy, did my rim sanding, and then did my final layer of epoxy. Um, you guys can definitely get this cup done in just a couple of days. It does not take very much at all. But yeah, after that, we were completely done. So let me know what you think down in the comment section. It definitely wasn't my favorite tumbler that I've ever created, but it was just super fun to do and it was super easy. And I'm glad that I finally got my inspiration to come to life on a cut. But that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you next time. If you like this video, you can check out our last one here. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest. We're all over the place and I'd love to see you over there. 